New at six, most biotic prosthetics for amputees cost at least $10,000. Pair that with a constantly growing child, and most parents of children with congenital limb difference can't even consider a robotic arm. But Ursula Perry reports one team that began at the University of Central Florida is now working to change that. Albert Monero was tinkering with prosthetics at his kitchen table when the family of seven-year-old Alex Ping asked for help creating a full bionic arm. So each finger can actually do independent motion. Monero and his fellow engineering students took on the challenge, creating a 3D printed robotic arm for Alex. After the first video aired, it went all the way around the world and we started receiving the same information from so many families saying that their child too needed um, some of that 3D hope. The nonprofit Limitless Solutions was born, providing 3D printed limbs to 20 patients so far at no cost to the families, thanks to generous sponsors. Engineers partnered with video designers to develop fun games to train children with their prosthetics. That's because the arms have built in sensors to move the many hand motors. The arms are actually controlled when the children flex their muscles. But that's not the only reason the kids are loving their arms. They want it to be bold, colorful, creative, and that really did change the conversation. People would even come up to them before they would ask questions like, oh, what's wrong with you? And now they change it to like, wow, that's such a cool arm. Where can I get one? Yeah, that would make more sense if we switch the colors. High tech arms that are every bit as unique as the child they've been designed for. The hardware for each of these arms is about $1,000, and Limitless is hoping to produce 5,000 bionic arms for children by 2020. They're also hoping to get FDA approval as well as insurance coverage in the next year or two. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.